Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial and today we will see another next questions on software that is Katia V5. So let us start with the first question. The first question is can line be converted into axis or vice versa? Yes definitely line we can convert the line into axis but the axis we cannot convert into a line. Okay. So the next question is how many axes are allowed to be created in a single sketch so only one axis can be created in a in a single sketch if more than one axis are created in a single sketch then only one of them that is the latest one will be the axis and other others will be converted into the reference elements so your only your sketch single sketch only have one axis the next question is what is the difference between PC and UFC that is the power copy and user feature creation. So the di difference between power copy and user feature creation is when you insert a power copy you will get a feature or a sketch what you have copied when you are creating an independent feature. But when you insert that is user feature cre creation you will get a user feature and you get an independent feature. So that is the difference between the PC and UFC fourth question is can we redefine the sketches yes definitely we can redefine the sketches the next question is how do we change sketch reference plane so right click on the sketch whose reference plane is to be changed and select the change reference select the change option that is and then reference plane and then select the new reference so in this way you can change the reference plane of the sketch the next question is what is the function of mirror command in sketch the mirror command in sketch will create a copy of sketch about a reference plane so it only makes a copy with the about the reference plane the next question is if i if i do not want to do not want the relation between original and mirrored element what should i do so you need to explore it and then the relation between the original and mirror element doesn't exist 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 sorry mistake there next question is what is the use of isolate in sketcher workbench isolate is used when 3d geometry is projected to the sketch in order to to be modified and used as a part of sketch profile so if you are if you are going to use the project 3d elements you need to isolate that to edit that sketch the next question is what are the different options available in quick trim command so again there are three options available that is break and rubber it removes a part of element which is clicked ok the next is break and keep it keeps both the parts of element after breaking it just break and the third is the break and rubber that is it, it removes the part of element which is not clicked so these are the three options available in quick trim command the next question is what do katia P1, Katia P2 and Katia P3 mean. So these are the P1, P2 and P3 will indicate the different types of platforms of Katia and higher the number of sophisticated, higher the number that is higher this P1, P2, P3 so sophisticated will be the software. The next question is when we start the Katia session by default which workbench will get opened? Can we change it at default? So again when we start the Katia session it will open the assembly design workbench and we cannot change that default workbench the next question is what is the importance of sketch tools so this tool toolbar only appears when you are in the sketcher workbench the four tools found in this tool toolbar are the toggle tools when the tool is highlighted that is the tool is that means the tool is on this particular toolbar changes depending on what other sketch sketcher workbench tool is currently selected the next question is how many degree of freedom are there for points lines circles and ellipse in two dimensions so there are two degree of freedom for the points three degree of freedom for the circles and the ellipse having five degree of freedom the next question is how many types of environment are available to start the Katia. So there are two types of environment available to start Katia. First one is the ROM desk, desktop MOTIF 
and the second one is the from console that is determined. The next question is what is mean by dimension? The mean dimension what is mean by mean dimension? Okay. So mean dimension is the dimension that should be mean of all the dimensions which are tolerance. The next question is what is mean by HLR and NHR and what is their use? The HR, HLR is hidden line removal and the NHR is no hidden line removal. And their purpose purpose is to visualize the solids in different modes. The next question is what are the master WS and detail WS. So each model that is workspace. Each model can have only each model can have one master work, work, workspace in which the model is created and manipulated. A model can have zero or more workspaces called as detail workspaces. These are auxiliary workspaces contain elements that are to be duplicated to several locations in the master workspace. In addition, the detail workspace can also be organized into separate library files using the library function. This can be shared with models to allow organizational standardization. And the next question is long form of terms, the following terms PDM, VPM, CFD, CAD, CAM and CAE. So first is a CAD that is a computer aided design in the scam computer aided manufacturing. CAE computer aided engineering, CFD computational fluid dynamics, and the PDM is product data management, VPM virtual product module. The next question is what is plane corner? When to use it? If the selected three edges are meeting at the same point, then that point is a plane corner. It's used in the plastic part to avoid sharp edges on the solid. By giving a setback di distance from corner, you can stop the fillet and get the blend at the corners. So there is one example of a fridge. You can see at the corner of fridge, the blend corner is present. The next question is, is it possible to create a material removal features such as pocket or groove? As, as a first features, yes, definitely we can create that. It is possible to create a material removal features such as pocket or groove as a first features. So it is called as a negative body concepts. So it comes in the boolean part. We cannot add these features as a first feature in the part body. So when you open this part design, the default part body is present there. We cannot use that part body as a negative feature because this this part body cannot be a negative body the next question is is it possible to sketch on the non planar surface no it is not possible to we cannot select a non planar surface as a sketch to sketch on it if we are using a surfacing environment then we can project the sketch on the non planar or irregular surface so that is the advantage of surfacing the next question is what is the use of creating a datum? First, it is deactivate the link between the parts. So that is only dependency will remain on the datums. So as we as you change the datum dimensions, it did the, the it changes the feature, modifies the feature. The next question is: Can you pad open and intersecting profile? It is possible for open profile with a thin pad option. The thin pad option is available in the extrude as well uh, in pad as well as in uh, sharp. There is a option there that is a thin pad option. And the next one, it is not possible with the intersecting profile. We cannot pad. We cannot add a material with the intersecting profiles. The next question is how to provide a tolerance to particular dimension. So first, give the dimension and using a right click select add tolerance from the contextual menu and specify the tolerance values the next question is can i take a portion of one sketch for the for creating a pad yes using the multi pad option or using the simple pad and in simple pad select a go to profile option so in simple pad there is a option that is a go to profile option available with that we can 
take a portion of one sketch for creating a pad the next question is is it possible to use arc as a axis for creating a sharp feature no it is we cannot use an axis to create a sharp feature the axis must be straight line the next question is what is the drafted filleted pocket with this command we can create a pocket that is like a simple pocket along with draft we can add a draft and fillet simultaneously so these three commands make this command that is drafted filleted pocket the next question is what kind of profile should be there for creating a stiffener so stiffener is like a rib so to increase the stiffness so we can use a wireframe geometry or sub elements of a sketch okay then the second is the profile may be open or closed but condition is that the closed prof profile's extrusion must be normal to the sketch so this is the condition and the profiles can be intersecting that is uh, the profile from the re the stiffener from top you, you can add a profile it can be intersecting also the next question is can we provide two different angles for same face of solid by using a draft option for the draft option it is not possible to give the different angles for same face of a solid but for advanced draft it is possible to give a different angle for same face so these are the two differences actually in between the simple draft and advanced draft the next question is what is mean by power copy in katia so the power copy is a set of features that are grouped under to use in different context and having the capability to add up changes when pasted so this is the use of power copy so thanks for watching please like and subscribe my video subscribe my channel for more videos